think this is around by the time where, where they would tell you to listen to this track, bitch. But who are you? Just another nigga with a strap. It don't take rocket science to shoot. You don't know shit about getting bricks out. You probably still work true for true. You don't know shit about on your blood because you paid your bills with all that loot. How about your baby about to be born and he don't got pampers, wipes, or food? How about your mama fucking your best friend and y'all both just finished school? But it's okay. She thinks it's cool. You're in her way. It's time you move. And you just paid all her damn bills. So you feel like a fool. So what do you suggest I do? You think you know? You got no clue. So please don't tell me what you think. Welcome to AJ's Dub! Yes! How everybody doing this lovely Sunday in the church that kept you down for a century of time? They use you to control you, these churches. Yes! How you feel? I believe in the Most High. Yes, I do. But, a lot of Caucasians from slave masters use those religions to control you. But we're not here today to talk about religion. We are going to talk about... Um, the first person I would like to talk about, I want to um, talk about Trump visiting the Civil Rights um, Museum in Birmingham. Well, I have a problem... Why are you visiting the civil rights and um anywhere he visit one he visited the museum in Washington D.C. and then he visited this one in um Alabama and my problem is um why you're a white nationalist why would you sit up there and think I swear most of you Caucasian really think. That we are just like our ancestors. We are not. We are not like our ancestors. Some, some. Uh, let me slip back. Some African Americans, they are just like our ancestors. I, the people who I hang around with, we are not like our ancestors. We are not going to sit up here and say, okay, you can hurt me all day. You can do whatever you want to do to me, all you got to do is say, I'm sorry, I apologize, I'm not going to do it again, and you can keep on doing it, because I like it, no, well, I am not my ancestors, I'm not going to go to um, church and say, let's pray over it, uh, no, I'm not going to do that, I'm not going to allow you to continue to mistreat me, because my skin color is darker than yours, I'm not going to allow that. I'm not going to forgive you like my ancestors forgave you. That is insane. Enough is enough. You think somebody's going to continue to take your crap? So he decides he wants to go and visit at the civil rights. You got every white nationalist in the White House. You may have gotten rid of they, um. What is his name? Banner. But Steve, you may have gotten rid of him, but you still got session. 
who's tried the first thing session did is try to take away the decree in Baltimore. Then he also took away um, when President Obama was there. He said that it was a criminal act in Texas as a voter oppression. Even the even the judge in Texas said that as well. But Session came along and said, "Nope, it's not oppression. It's not a voter um, voter oppression. No, we're gonna drop that lawsuit." Then you got Bessie DeVos. Knowing poor people cannot afford. Knowing poor people cannot afford. Private. Cannot afford private. Private school. So she decide. To go after the public school. To take away. Now see people. This is everything what I'm talking about today is a trickle down effect. And a lot of people don't know that. It is a trickle down effect. And what do I mean by that? I'm going to tell you why I'm saying it's a trickle down effect. Because if she gets her way, She will stop everybody else from getting educate, educated. Now, who is going to stop getting educated? Who you think going to stop getting educated? African Americans. Who you think was going to be infected with this? African Americans. African Americans are going to get affected. African Americans are going to be affected. Why I say that is because we, our parents cannot afford these high expensive private schools. No, they can't. I um so African Americans are getting af affected by this decision. This is what shows why she's so inexperienced about public school. Then we got this little Ben Carson in here who's taking money away from Hub. Who's been affected? African Americans. Come on, people. What's what's really going on? They're trying to take everything away. And some of you Caucasian are like, yeah, we say you on welfare. You are the majority that is on welfare. You are on welfare. You're the majority that is on welfare. You are the one continue to be the majority of one on welfare. So at the end of the day, how is this? How is it that you're being affected? You're being affected in all ways. But yet, you do, you thinking, if we vote for these things, that it's going to help African Americans. That's your problem. That is your problem. That is your problem. Because it's not affecting just us. It's affecting you too.
But yet you want to vote, vote against your own needs. Why is that so? I mean, President Johnson has, knew that you was going to vote against your own needs. He knew it. He knew that you was going to vote against your own need. I already quoted several times on here. You constantly voting against your own needs. Your own wants. Now this president on his tax plan. It is not affecting him or his rich donors. It is only affecting the poor. Who is the majority of the poor? Caucasians. But yet you continue to sit here and say that, oh, he's doing a wonderful job. He's doing an excellent job. How is it he's doing an excellent job when he's taking from you? How is it? What do you see that I do not see? Help me see something that, and I'm highly intelligent. But yet you're still voting against your needs, your wants, your own desires. That's something I cannot understand. You continue to vote against your own needs and wants. I want to go on to War Moore comment. War Moore made a comment and stated that it was beautiful. Now we know what make America great again mean. Make America white again like they had slaves. But one more comment was that the family structure, the Caucasian family structure was great back in the time when slavery was there at that time. So, so one, when one more made that statement, I thought about this. So you're telling me that our ancestors who were slaves kept you Caucasians together. Interesting. So, if you have slavery, the structure of the Caucasian family is together. So now, your structure of family is not together because they don't have slavery. That's a lie. Because... You couldn't maintain the slaves. So there became a civil right outright war that brother and father, sister and mother was fighting against each other. One wanted slavery, one didn't. So you again you're putting african americans africans above because we kept you together it doesn't seem like that in the republican party right now because you guys have no moral you don't care if a person who's a pedophile was banned in from a mall you're trying to get him. Everybody endorsed him. Including your white nationalist president. Everybody. That speak of the house. Everybody have endorsed this man. 
He's a pedophile. But you rather go for this pedophile to come in office that can vote on laws for people who are pedophiles to have rights. Well, I was a victim of a pedophile when I was young. My brother, he's dead now. Write me when I was young. I could talk about this. That's why I stand up for people's rights. Right now, I have problems at the place that I work at. Going through the same thing. Same thing. That other women out here are going through. Last year, I went through sexual harassment. One guy, they do it at the post office. Yeah, that's where I work at. They go at people. Go at women. Put a notch on their belt. I want that case. They breached the contract. I asked for classes. They did not do that. Harassment class. Sexual harassment class. I never received it. Was a stand up. Now I'm going through harassment. Of this year. It haven't been a full year from last year. Going through harassment. Guy is rude. Aggressive. Because he's not getting his way with me. He constantly go. Come at me. I continue to write it down. I had to request for a schedule change. It is still pending. I can't get into details. But. We have someone who's in Mississippi who is a well-known pedophile. Banned from a mall. And all the Republicans have endorsed... Well, You know what? I'm going to take that back. Most of the Republicans have endorsed him. Mitch McConnell. Trump. Paul Ryan. All these people have endorsed him. Knowing that he's a pedophile. Knowing that he have raped little girls. People have came together. And when I say rape, when you are 30 something years old and this person is 14 years old, that consider rape. That is statutory rape. So it's not alleged. These women have photos, copy of him giving them signature. He never denied it. Never denied it. He said his mother, their mother gave him permission to date them. They're 14 years old. They don't know what's wrong with their body. Not at that particular time. His comment about slavery kept you guys together. Isn't that interesting? Just want to talk about that. Preaching stand up in the pool pit. And told his. His people. His sheep. That he could pair. One more. To Christ. Jesus Christ. He's on the cross. Just because he's against. Same sex marriage. It is okay. To rape little girls. It is all right to rape little girls. Oh, 
he's going against same-sex marriage. He having sex with little girls. He's not having sex with little boys. So it is okay. That's what the preacher said. It is okay. Go and vote for him. He is like Christ on the cross. He is being prosecuted, persecuted. Isn't that how dare you say he's like Christ on the cross? A pedophile. I do not like pedophiles because I know how you your life can be affected. I am the prime example. If I did not try to stand up and take my life back, I will be messed up like other young ladies out here who are messed up, being permissive. But that's not me because I took that. And made myself stronger, wiser, and becoming something, someone that I have. When I, when my mother birthed me, I was someone, somebody. It affects people. In general, boys getting molested as well. You have to have a strong mind to exist and be successful in this world. When things like that happen to you, I am a survivor of rape from a pedophile. At a young age. I am a survivor on a job. And still going through it. And still surviving. Still. I am still surviving. I have text message. From my job. What I'm working at now. From a guy. I have recordings. And if I didn't have any, uh, if I was insecure, no self-esteem, I would have been raped again. Because I can stand up on my own and know how a predator look and what he says. I am a survivor. People in Alabama, I suggest you not to vote a pedophile in office if you see this. I suggest you not to vote a pedophile in office. I would like to talk about Roland Martin. Roland Martin is a show is leaving next year. They have about three more weeks, I think. And it was a young lady on Twitter. She said she just started on Twitter and she came straight at Roland Martin. And I couldn't believe her African-American female. She was talking about this blackness and everything. But yet she continued to down Roland Martin and talk about Roland Martin in his show and I doubt she watched it. Even uh Tamika um I'm I'm sorry if I kill your name. Mahler she stated, "Okay, what if he did root for um um talk uh, 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 she was upset because he was broadcasting so much of telling people to vote for Hillary. And I doubt she voted. I'm not saying if she does, she did or didn't. 
And she was coming at him because of that. And um, saying that she, uh, Roland Martin was dancing for the man. Uh, I voted for Hillary. I wasn't going to vote for Trump because I wasn't going to be bamboozer in her rink. That everybody else is being that now. Um, and when she came at him, I was like, wow. When the last time you went after the Fox News media, uh, Roy Moore and uh, uh, Ryan, uh, Ryan uh, Paul Ryan, uh, Trump, you know, all these people who are white nationalists. She say her response was, why would I go after white supremacists? Why wouldn't you? Our ancestors did. Why would you tear down a brother who had the had a excellent information pr- platform? See, people don't remember BET when BET had news. The first thing um, when Johnson sold BET. The first thing they took was the um, news media out of BET. Then they start showing all slutty videos. Remember that? I did my research on that. It took the media away. See, you have to understand information mean a lot mean a lot that's why they always trying to take our news away from us that's why they kill our ancestors when they was trying to read you know fox news put out propaganda but yet fox news is on still on the television And when we get a show like Roland Martin TV One, and they start telling the truth, they will last about one or two years, and they will get rid of it because they don't. They, when I say they, the government, uh, uh, white supremacists, do not want them on television to inform you of true truthness, what is actually existing. Around this world and what is going on in the government. They don't want you to break it down. They don't want that. That's why our news programs disappear real quick. It is a loss. For the African American community. When we lose shows like that. Because it will not. We will not find that in any Caucasian. News media. They put out too much of propaganda about us. They say that we are more on welfare. That's a lie. We only make up 14% of the population. They say that we are criminals. I work every day and never stole anything from no one. They say that we are rapists or they'll put it on the Mexicans. That's a lie. The history shows that they, and when I say they, Caucasians, European, have raped Native American women and men. African American women and men. The information you were receiving is highly important. If it wasn't, they would not try to stop it. But yet, this sister got on here and talked about Roland Martin like no tomorrow in a disrespectful brother. That's what they want you to do. You talk about blackness, but your oppressor saying, I don't have to do anything. You would do it. And I tried to explain that to her. 
And I know she never watched that show. No, she never watched. It was an excellent show. It broke the government down. If it didn't, I would have said it. It did not. But it did. Roland Martin broke it down. He informed us. And it is gone. BET informed us. And that is gone. They take the news media away from because you are no longer preaching propaganda and you showing that African Americans are working and living well. So they will take that away. When you down your brother and sister to Caucasians, most of the Caucasians who are white nationalists will not, they will sit back and allow you to tear your brother and sisters down. That's crazy. And I will not mention her name because I was like, I can't believe she will actually come at Roland Martin like that when he actually informed us of what is going on. We're not going to get that anymore. If you don't do research, you're not going to get it. There are plain out lies in all these news media. That's why I stopped watching news. And when I came across Roland Martin about a year ago, Stayed on it. Watched it. Just want to say that. Sister, you have a long way to go. When you, sister and brother, you have a long way to go. Don't ever talk about blightness when you know nothing about it. That's all I have to say. Phil Brasford, B-R-A-I-L-S-F-O-R-D. A lot of people saying, who is that? He is a police officer who, I'm going to try to get this video up. I want you guys to see it. Now, this is my opinion. I, my opinion, I'm going to make my opinion because he got away with murder. But the crazy thing is, I'm going to try to show it. I'm going to see if I can get it up. I want you guys to hear it. If you don't have a very... Here, um, watched it and I want you guys' opinion and... I would state mine. So, let's see if I can get this up here. A jury in Arizona. Uh, no, that's not what I want. He was found not guilty. He killed a African American, not an African American, a young white male. Got away with murder. And everyone is outraged. I, I'm trying to fast forward it right now because they have a full clip of a video. They came off. Wait, hold on. Let me see. They came off the. They answered a call. Someone was shooting pellets down on this hotel. And they answered that call. Let me try to fast forward this video. And. Okay, hold on. Yeah. Okay. I am trying to get this video up so I don't have to go all the way. Let me see if I can get this video up.
trying to get this video up so y'all can see this. I know speaker.com, you cannot see it, but you will hear it. And I'm trying to get it up. So, okay. That is not working. Okay, let's go here and see if I can get it up. Maybe it'll come up, maybe not. But I want you guys to see it so I can state my opinion. Because I have a problem. I have a problem. And you're going to see, you thinking it's the other way. You thinking I have a problem with the cop shooting the guy and stuff like that. Could be. Could be not. But I want you guys to see this graphic video. And... Okay. And the person who the cop shot was Daniel Shaver. Okay. Here we go. Exactly what the officer says. The officer is this is screaming thunder. This is uh I I am trying to really get this video and I don't want no one talking in it and it seems like that's the only way I'm going to get someone talking. I don't need someone talking in it. I really don't. And I'm trying to get it all the way up, and it's just not working. Okay, here we go. Another mistake. This There's is the video that everybody is getting outraged yeah. about. Yeah, all right. This is, shut up. I'm not here to be tactful or diplomatic with you. You listen, you obey. Let me try to make it. One thing, did I tell you to move, young man? Did I tell you to put both your hands, put both your hands on the top of your head and insulate your fingers. Take your feet and cross your left foot over your right foot. Who else is in the room? Nobody. Alright. Are you both strong? No. No. Alright. So you're not going to have any problems understanding anything that I tell you, right? Correct. Alright. Can you go to me, really? No, you're not going to do anything but come towards us. Okay. <laughs> Young man, you are not to move. You're to put your eyes down and look down at the carpet. You're to keep your fingers interlaced behind your head. You're to keep your feet crossed. If you move, we're going to consider that a threat. And we are going to deal with it, and you may not survive it. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Young lady, shut up and listen. Mm-hmm. All right? You are to keep your feet crossed. Take both of your hands, put them flat in front of you. You are to push yourself up to a kneeling position. Kneeling position. Now, put both your hands in the air. Okay, crawl towards us. I'm so sorry. No risk. Oh, Pull this way. <coughs> Let me know when you're clear. Clear? No, you're not clear. You have a wrist You're not being the chain for me to get out of the way. Okay. Just and we'll be done. Okay, we're going to do that. Lay her flat. Okay, I need one more cup for up. Do. We're going to do almost like we did before. Okay. <laughs> okay, young man, listen to my instructions and do not make a mistake. You are to keep your legs crossed. Do you understand me? Yes, you are to put both of your hands, palms down, straight out in front of you. Push yourself up to a kneeling position. I said, keep your legs crossed. I'm sorry. 
So, okay, hold on him, one with me. So, he shot the young man dead. And he got away with it. Got away with murder. So, the problem that I have is, first of all, when that young man was holding his hands up on the ground, um, why didn't he go to him and put handcuffs on him instead of having him crawl to him? See, this is what you call a trickle-down effect. A lot of you Caucasians who were jurors when Fidel, Fernando Castle, Sandra Bland, Tamir Rice, all these people who got killed. Um, what's the the lady in um Washington? I forget who she was. She killed the uh, African American male. Forget his name. Um, just like, um, Scott, this man didn't get convicted of his murder. He's getting convicted because of civil rights violation. Get what I'm saying? What I'm saying is that you guys allow these cops to kill African Americans. Oh, they just didn't comply. Well, just a moment ago, you saw this young man try to comply. And the cop shot him and he found not guilty. The reason why he was found not guilty is because it caused the trickle down effect. When you guys continue to allow these cops to do whatever they want, you made them above the law. Because, oh, it's not going to happen to us because we comply and we're white. But it did happen to one of you guys. Now you're outraged and say they're murderers. Well, they was murder murderers when they killed other African Americans who got away with it. They allow a guy, Trayvon Martin, to be killed, and he and this guy is scot free. Allowed this cop. This cop came out, shot, and didn't care. Tamir Rice had to play gun. He was set free. And now you outrage. Our lives matter too. That's why we have an organization of Black Lives Matter. Because now one of you, oh God forbid, that one of you got shot. That I am not condoning. I'm not all for the cops of killing people. But now you're outraged when it's a white man. Because his life matter more than ours. It shouldn't be. But somehow now you're outraged. And they're just animals. And they're just this. And they're that. They're no good. Well you the one put them above the law. You the one set was setting them free every time they kill black lives. I didn't care because it didn't affect what you say, it didn't affect you. You don't care. It didn't affect you at all, right? It didn't affect them. It don't affect me. I don't care. It don't affect me. Right? Say that all the time, right? I'm going to set them free. Hey, that should have complied. Well, that young man um, tried to comply as well. Fidel, 
Fidel Castro tried to comply as well. Sandra Bland tried to comply as well. Y'all can tell us that lie all day time as she hung herself. African Americans don't hang themselves. Only Caucasian hang African Americans. I tell anybody, anybody happened to me, I y'all, I'm not doing suicide. That's not me. Not gonna do it. Too strong for that. They are killing activists in St. Louis. That's where I'm at. They are killing them. They killed a lot of ap activists in St. Louis. Kill them the same way all of them. They find them in a car burned with a gunshot to the head. But nobody is saying anything about that. And I believe, I truly believe it's the cops are doing it. Now that everybody is getting on here and they they like, oh no, we have a problem. I am outraged he should go to jail and he will set free and all this yada 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 yada. Then I had on my Facebook I had a young African American female come at me and say, you're ignorant. I say, why am I ignorant? Because I'm saying they did not come. They wasn't outraged when all these African Americans was killed. Now they're outraged because one of theirs have been killed. They want us to unite now to go against the cops. Like 9-11. Oh, we need to come together. We need to come together. Because we got, we, that need Muslims killing us. We need to come together. And now they don't know us again. Know what? Muhammad Ali said it clearly. No Vietcom ever did nothing to me. Well, no Muslim never did nothing to me. I'm not going to sit up here and kumbaya and you hoodwink me again. Bamboozled me. And it wasn't again. I shouldn't say again because I just don't allow someone who have lied to my ancestors lie to me. Let's continue. Oh, come and join us. We have to fight these people. As soon as you get control again, you're going to like say you're nothing. You're an animal. We don't need you. We don't need you. Woo! <coughs> You never thought that this was trickled down, did you not? Never thought that at all. Oh, you just thought that this they would not do this to you. Now you want us to come. Now. Now that you want us to come and and uh, and be there for you because of what is going on with this person. He got away with murder. Oh, it's murder now. It wasn't murder with all the other African Americans that they killed. But it's murder now. Please. I am not going to stand by my oppressor. Republican Party trying to take our votes away. Republican Party uh, trying to get a pedophile in office. In 2018 is coming up for elections of senators. You either get your ass up you get your ass up and you vote. 
and you show Trump you no longer have the house. Or you sit your ass down and stop complaining. Because I will be out there voting. I am so sick and tired of being sick and tired. They have killed our ancestors. White nationalists have killed our ancestors. Their kids are raised now from kids, from kids, to kids, and kids. They are here, live and kicking. But yet, we continue to allow these little people Take control of our lives. Get up in 2018. Stand up and tell them you no longer run this country. We do. Get rid of these Republicans on Tuesday. Get Do not allow war more in that office. Do not allow war more to be a senator. Do not allow a pedophile. A well known pedophile to be put in that seat. Our franking seat is up. Common seat is up. We need to take the two houses back. Get rid of these senators. Get rid of these congressmen and congresswomen. Find out if your senator voted for this tax plan. Find out if your congressman or congresswoman voted for this tax plan. Get them out of there. We need to take this seat. We need to take the two houses back. If it's independent, take it back. If it's Democrats, take it back. The Republicans do not care about the United States. They only care about one thing. One thing only, and that's green money. You guys, you listen to this, and I want you to hear it well. She made this song. Remember our ancestors hanging on a tree. Remember our ancestors lost their lives. The last thing they heard was the N-word. Remember that. Y'all have a great day. Barren strange fruit Blood on the leaves And blood at the roots Gotta see this black body swinging in the southern breeze. Strange fruit hanging from the poplar trees. Them big bulging eyes and the twisted mouth. deals with America and the black and white problem really the ugliness of it that is about the ugliest song I have ever heard ugly in the sense that it is violent and tears at the guts of what white people have done to my people in this country I mean it really really opens up the wound completely well when you think of a man hanging from a tree and to call him 
strange fruit.